Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I have a different sort of video for y'all today and a lot of people ask what I do for a living and I'm actually a veterinarian and I um, thought today was a good time to tell y'all. Let me flip this camera around and show you what I'm doing here. This old girl is a female black lab and she was hit by a car. She is alive and um, she was hit by a car when my clients just called me and no one knows whose dog this is. They just found her on the side of the road and the police officer was actually about to shoot her because um, she was in shock and uh, not doing well at all and I brought her up to the clinic I told him I would put her to sleep humanely I didn't want him to shoot her um, so I told him I put her, put her to sleep I brought her up to the clinic and and I didn't see anything that was significantly wrong with her um, she actually opened her eyes and, and kinda looked at me and I just felt sorry for her so I'm gonna try to save her today as you can see She's pretty banged up. This is a little nasty, but this skin is not attached at all. Um, lots of cuts on her, all over her legs. Um, there's another one right there on her knee. So I'm going to try to save this girl. i got some fluids running to her because she is in shock. I'm giving her some meds through her IV line right here. And uh, do my best to save this, this old pup. So I wanted to film a little more that night, but it got really hectic and I had blood all over me and, and I just didn't um, make it back to, to, to video anything. Um, and then what happened, the owners actually went out looking for their dog and they had heard that she, well that a dog matching her description had been hit on a road down the street. And um, so they went there and they started knocking on people's doors around that, that road and they went up to somebody's house who actually was out there on the, on the road with me. Um, when I first showed up to get the dog and she said yeah the the vet came and she was in pretty bad shape and he took her to put her to sleep about an hour ago um, and so they figured that that she was probably a goner um, but anyway that lady the the person's house they knocked on um, called me at the clinic uh, but I heard the answer machine and she said hey this is so-and-so and I was out there at the road with you and um, I figure since you're not answering that the dog is probably already euthanized um, but I have the owners here. And so I ran, I ripped my gloves off and I ran and picked it up and I said, yeah, the owners? And she said, yeah, is the dog, dog still there? Is she gone? And I said, no, she's still here. I'm trying to save her. And I told her, send him up here. And so about five minutes later, the owners showed up here and, and they actually turned out to be some of our clients. We just, we didn't know it at the time. And um, they told us the dog's name is Janie. And uh, they were pumped that I was still working on her. And it's been about nine days since then and let me show you Janie this is old Janie and she's kinda of sleepy right now I just anesthetized her um, to take an x-ray she's been limping on her right leg which is the leg that wasn't all cut up um, so we were just making sure it was still in the socket and that nothing was broken and I didn't see anything on the x-rays So as you can see Janie is doing well she's painful on that back leg um, but I think she's just sore. Her wound dehissed and came open, which is not uncommon. Most of it's sealed up, but there's still a good chunk that's just going to have to fill in. Um, and we had the, the skin, I sutured it all over there, so the skin stayed, made a nice scab for this whole nine days. I just pulled off the rest of it today. So there's nice granulation tissue here. It's not bleeding or anything. It's going to heal well. It's just going to take a little while and a little extra wound care. Janie, what do you think, girl? Come here. Well, you can see she's putting some weight on that leg now, so nothing nothing bad. I think it's just probably bruised. She probably stretched it out a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Her face looks way better. Her eyes, you can see, are still red and bruised. Good girl. She has some stitches up here. I think she's going to do good, and we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do another video a little bit later. She's a little more healed up. All right, Jenny. It's okay. Good girl. Stop. Good girl. Yeah, that's amazing how quickly these things will heal up. 
a bunch of them already dissolved and fell out too. Yeah, I saw something hanging down low that I trimmed. It's a little yep. too looking. This thing all healed up nicely. This one was kind of yeah. I was worried about that. Busted one. open. She yeah. sort of worked on that, that to one. it. Yeah. The spray we used on that too. So. Yeah, it looks like it's healed up pretty nicely also. What's the chain? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Make chain. Set. No. So it's been like like a month, right? I think I was trying to figure that out myself. I thought we could look at the first table and see. She's a happy girl over here. Jamie, sit. No. Channel, Vet Ranch, please subscribe if you like these videos, and I will see you next time. Yay! Alright! I know what you're going through, I know cause I've been there too, I don't want